Assalamu alaikum students. Welcome to science class. Today we will continue chapter 12 of your science book that is friction. Students we know that friction is a force which opposes motion of one object over the other. There are some situations in which friction is useful to us but in other cases it is harmful. So it is called necessary evil. Students in this video we will know about advantages and disadvantages of friction. So let's begin with advantages of friction. Friction plays an important role in our daily life. It is acting all the time around us. It helps us in many ways. Friction helps us to walk and run. When we walk, there is friction between our foot or the sole of our shoe and the ground. This prevents us from slipping. Students, if we will try to walk on a wet floor, we will slip because the water reduces the friction between our foot and the floor. Similarly, if anyone will step on a banana peel, he or she will slip because the banana peel is smooth and reduces friction. Understood? Good. Friction helps us to write and draw. If there will be no friction, we will not be able to hold a pen vertically. It is the friction that opposes slipping and helps us to hold the pen. Also, there is friction between our pen and the paper, which helps the pen from slipping on the paper. It is the force of friction between chalk and the board, which enables your teacher to write on the board Got it? Good. Friction enables movement of vehicles. The friction between the tires of various vehicles like cars, trucks, tractors, bicycles, scooters, etc. and the ground helps them to move on the ground or road without slipping. Students, can you see these grooves? which are there on this tire. Grooves are made in tires to increase friction. Understood? Due to greater friction, the tires provide better grip on the road that prevents skidding of the vehicles. Friction enables us to light a mastic. When we strike a mastic against the rough surface of a matchbox, it catches fire. The force of friction raises the temperature of the mastic's head to such an extent that the chemicals in it catch fire to produce flame. Understood? It is the force of friction that holds screws and nails in the wood. We are able to fix nails in a wall due to friction. When we hammer a nail into the wall, it is the friction between the surface of nail and wall which holds the nail tightly in the wall. Without friction, nails could not be fixed in the wall to hold things. Understood? Students, apart from these, there are various situations in which friction is useful to us. You try to find out. Okay, now let's know about the harms caused by friction or disadvantages of friction. Friction causes wear and tear of the parts of the machines in contact. Thus, the lifetime of machine is reduced. Soles of our shoes and tires of automobiles wear out with gradual use. Therefore, the worn out pieces have to be replaced from time to time. This causes wastage of money. Understood? 
friction produces heat which may damage machines students if you will rub your hands together for a few seconds you will feel that they get warm this is because friction between the hands produces heat similarly when we operate a mixer grinder for a few minutes its jar becomes hot here again heat is produced by friction when the moving parts of a machine rub together a lot of heat is produced due to friction between them this heat may damage the machine gradually understood friction reduces the efficiency of machines some of the force applied to run a machine is wasted in overcoming the friction between its moving parts this reduces the efficiency of the machine for this reason the efficiency of machine is always less than 100% understood friction causes loss of energy and also consumption of more fuels students you know that friction always opposes the relative motion between any two objects in contact right therefore extra energy is spent in overcoming friction thus friction involves an expense of energy for example as much as 10% of fuel burnt in a car or any other vehicle is used to overcome the friction in the engine thus it increases the expenditure on fuels understood forest fires occur due to the friction between branches of trees which rub against each other understood due to friction of pencil and chalk while writing they get smaller and smaller similarly use of eraser while making drawings makes it smaller while white washing the houses etc a painter uses sandpaper this sandpaper is worn out and becomes smooth due to the repeated use on walls understood 